so this video is about uh, how to watch my videos in general i hope that you have already registered for my course so this will be useful for those who have already registered for the full course the gate okay mm, so first of all if you observe any subject that uh, that i teach you will you will observe there are two types of videos one video will be about the concept okay so first thing is about the videos which will cover the concepts so i'll i'll i generally talk about the concept first and then in the second video i mean in the videos that follow the concept i'll generally do examples right let me call it solved examples and then at the end i'll give you uh, a pdf pdf generally uh, which will you know roughly contain about 500 questions 500 practice questions so practice questions and these questions either the concepts or the solved examples or the practice questions they will be continuously be updated as well as uploaded every day and whenever anything is uploaded you will get an email notification for me in case if you are registered i am not talking about those who are watching it from the youtube they are the free demo lectures uh, this is uh, this is all about the people who have uh, already registered for my course so one is concept and then solved examples and then practice questions all of them are there now the main question is how to watch them and what to do while watching <coughs> my suggestion is this first of all you take the video which is related to the concept and don't write anything while watching just finish the complete video from first to the end so start the video and watch it completely without any disturbance don't try to write down anything in the first go and after watching the video completely then again go back and start from the beginning and second time when you are watching you please note down take down some running notes just some few bullet points which will help you uh, later in reading you know in going through it uh, in a fast manner so remember this we are not really preparing for the gate exam right now at present we are preparing for the last month of the gate exam which means now we are doing everything which will be useful for us in the last 30 days before the exam in the last 30 days you will not be able to read every standard textbook or you will not be able to read you know uh, big big materials so now you read everything and then just write down everything that you read because your brain obviously cannot remember anything for so long so you write them on the book and then later before the exam the 30 days before the exam you just revise it so now we are preparing for 30 days before the exam not really for the exam keep that in mind so now what you do is after watching the concepts video for the second time you take down the notes on the, just like the bullet points you can write you know point number one point number two point number three like this take down the notes and i even recommend that you don't use the complete notes i'll just i'll just show you by taking a notes so watch this don't don't use the complete book you just write on one side of the book and leave the other side blank just use one side of the book while you are taking the notes so one side of it you write completely and then leave this one and then write here and then leave the next page and then write here like that so why why should you be doing this is there are there are many reasons first thing is i continuously uh, keep on adding more topics and more examples to the uh, topic for example if you have seen uh, maybe digital i'll again do it or if you have seen co i did it once but i'll again do it therefore uh, when you are writing the notes leaving some space will help you later when i send you any update see whenever i update any video you will definitely get an email i'll just send an email saying that this topic has been updated then you are going to watch it for the second time and again there might be new points which you might want to want you know add it at the same place it is always better that have everything at the same place that is why you just leave some space or at least half the page you leave it if you are if you are if you are not willing to leave uh, one blank uh, one full page leave half of it and then you uh, you know you continue it so that later you can add it so what are the additions that you might have to do later is one thing is i'll keep on updating so all the videos will get updated i'll keep on doing that 
and the second thing is while you are practicing the questions whatever questions i am providing you for practice the 500 questions from those questions you might come across the uh, concepts or some new points which you have not written earlier so from there you might have to take that question or the concept and then do it and third one is in case if you have time i am not really recommending this but in case if you have time and if you are reading the standard textbooks also if you have a lot of time to read the standard textbooks huh, then while reading the standard textbooks then you jot down some points few points you just write down so for that reason have some space in the book right and the next thing is it is very important whenever you are writing any concept in the book it is always important that you give the video number or video name there the reason why am i saying this is later you know before the exam while you are going through the notes you might suddenly get a, get you know confused that you might want to watch the video again then at that time you cannot search the entire video like in google search right so the best thing is while writing about the concept always write the video number so like for example os this is memory management and video number 10 or at least write the video name there will be video name written right you just write it and then continue it if the video is too long let's say 40 minutes or one hour it is even advisable if you can write the duration like let's say this this this, uh, this particular point has been discussed at 10 minutes 11 minutes something like this so that it will be easy for you to revise see whatever we are doing now is all to make it easy for you to revise at the end before the exam let's say you have 10 days before the exam and you are going to the notes and you suddenly forgot a concept and again you want to go back and look at it then you cannot search it so if you can write it then you can search it i hope you got the point right so do that and this is all about how you do the concepts right and then coming to the solved examples you might have observed this after every concept i generally do 20 30 examples right as many examples as possible i do them and later i'll give you practice questions also it is not that i'm doing everything and leaving you with no work i'll give you work don't worry so now coming to the solved examples what you can do is whenever i start a video see just not to waste your time you might have observed this i don't i i, I generally don't like wasting your time so what i do is i write everything on the board I don't I don't uh, you know even record uh, while I'm writing on the board I write everything on the board so whenever you start a video uh, the question will be there on the board and the solution I'll do it so what you do is before watching the solution that I provide you just pause the video solve the question yourself you just solve it if it is an example you just try it you need not be right or you, you, you need not have any practice for that you just try it give it a try while try okay and then you will get some answer later even if you get if you got the right answer just watch the video so that you'll understand the approach that i'm following sometimes i might have i might i might try to solve it in a different approach see it is all about improving your approaches so to solve the same question there might be lots of approaches and you should train your brain so that you know you will be confident with every approach so the gate exam is all about learning these approaches how i think and you should get used to that kind of thinking not just me you could you could uh, you could you know even discuss with your friends and they will have a different kind of mindset different kind of approach therefore even if you know a question i suggest that you go through the uh, video and then uh, you know get the approach first so uh, while you are solving these solved questions my suggestion is pause the video you solve it first and then watch the way i solve it that is that is the best thing you can do right and later practice questions coming to practice questions um, first we shall do this finish all the concepts finish all the solved examples of every subject so don't go to practice questions directly first you finish watching all the videos that will help you you know in increasing the your intuition i can say so once you watch all my concepts and all the solved examples you will get used to the problem solving approach and later you can do the problem solving in the second round so my suggestion is don't directly jump onto the practice questions and do it like one topic one one topic and then the questions leave it there just go through concepts and then solved examples leave the subject there jump onto the next subject like that you finish all the videos of all the subjects and later at some 
you know at some time later when the second cycle when you are doing the revision then you can solve the practice questions okay so how much time will it take for you to finish all the videos that actually depends on how many hours you can put in preparation and second thing is how fast you are some people are really quick that they can just watch the video once and then take down the notes and move on to the next one some people might need need to watch the same video four times therefore you know it all depends on your individual capability i cannot say that you know there is there is no fixed rule there is no like single size fits all it, depending on your capabilities you will you will take some time and your friend might take some time so don't worry about it you go at your own pace in gate we will have enough time even if you solve the entire question paper you will be left with 10 15 minutes of time so time is not an issue you have to learn as much as possible as slowly as possible go at your own pace don't worry about the timing see again i'm saying it this is very very important people just try to finish all the topics they i don't know why uh, so fast but perfection is important not completion do as many topics as perfectly as possible you need not do everything at least whatever you do you do it perfectly go at your own pace again i'm stressing it don't don't just rush into the things go slowly be peaceful be calm it doesn't take a lot of time even if you are going at a very slow pace it doesn't take a lot of time how many ever how many ever hours you get you put in it and don't worry about you know finishing it off fast and later maybe I, I i suggest that if you can finish it by december it is fine you need not worry about it and in january you can take the test and revise it so you have ample amount of time if you ask me if you are if we can put i'm just giving you a wild guess if you are an average student average student not a genius if you are, if you are an average student and if you can put in four hours per day i'm just talking about four hours right and in one month you will be getting 120 hours right in three months you will be getting roughly around 360 hours this time will be enough to cover major syllabus major most of it you can cover it so in three to four months if you are able to put uh, four hours you will be able to finish 80 percent of the syllabus so you have you have a lot of time now and you can even if you if you want to finish it in less months then yes you can increase the number of hours per day right that can always be done so what what am i saying whenever you so in summary what i'm trying to say is you at most importance to my videos first so while watching the video write down everything and then second time when you are again going through the uh, question topics and then the uh, examples then you try to solve the practice questions if you find any good question you just write it down and next thing is there will be a test series which i'll provide so you please follow the test series which i am going to provide uh, you don't don't register for all the test series available in the market i'll try to see that i, I know i can at least ensure you the quality of the test series that i provide so yes you can take any test series you want but it is better that you stick on to one and uh, obviously i'll i'll try to do it the best way possible so third thing is the third phase so let's divide them into phases so what is phase number one finish all the videos either the either the concepts or the solved examples first finish all the videos that is phase number one and while you are finishing the videos write down the notes and the second thing is uh, after every subject is done then you should revise each subject take each subject and while revising the topics if you forget any topic then again go back and watch that particular video and again solve the practice questions this is the second round okay and the third thing is let's talk about let's take this test series and now whether to read the standard textbooks or not that really depends on the time you have i really don't suggest that if you are if you are very busy and if you have not done all this i don't suggest that you go to the te standard textbooks standard textbooks can be done they are like additional supplements so you cannot directly jump onto the textbooks and waste your time if you have enough time yes i'll i'll suggest what textbook to learn and read and in a, some other video i'll do that okay so for now this is how you should be watching the videos okay fine